Ben Brown and uh, the Futurity Cutter. One good cutting saddle with a tree that's unique, made by myself. I first made the Futurity Cutter bars in uh, 19, 1999. And they're a uh, extremely close contact, thin set of bars. I don't have a Futurity cutting tree in the shop with me right now, but I can show you the basic bar. This is for a very short version for a barrel saddle called a butterfly barrel. But this is the basic bar. It's enlarged a little as you get into the cutter, obviously. It's quite uh, straight. It has quite a good twist from here to here. In the front, you don't pinch withers. You get a hold of the round back torse as well. <clears throat> Gullet on a Futurity cutter is eight inches because your little Futurity studs are quite wide. But a lot of that gullet is from the bars twisting like this. That means that as we widen here, we narrow here to here. Down here is what gets a hold of the horse. It keeps it from rolling as much on the round back horse while it stops pinching on the withered horse. That's what the full twist, the no pinch twist bars do in my saddles. You give, you end up with a very narrow seat, a really good flat spot in the middle of the seat. So you have a good flat spot to ride in right here, keeping you centered. You swoop up nicely in the rear. There's not a lot of dish here. And this 16 inch seat, excuse me, this is a 16 and a half measured from here to here with a 3 8 inch of neoprene in there for padding. It's a full 12 and a half right to here to here. That's a 16 and a half. It is 24 inches long front to rear. What does that let you do? It lets you use it on a maturity stud, put it just back of the shoulders so when he does a turn back, you're not up on top of his shoulders restricting him. You're not running into the point of the hip restricting him. You're 24 inches long with a 16 inch seat. And uh, this is the uh, OD5 horn, which is more like a pistol grip. It's great to get a hold of. Rather spoon shaped on top. And uh, it's open down the center, like you'll find in all of my saddles. Get you down and close. The skirts are flexible enough. It's not like riding a cast on the horse's back. Because they're open in the rear, and because they can move, and because the saddle is short anyway, you stay with your horse and you move with your horse. You have a pretty nice wear leather here and the D-ring drops down past the skirt right here. Just enough to get the latigo straps out of the way. That is the maturity cutter. This one's going to a cutter in Texas. I'll be getting it to him next weekend. Thank you very much.